Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're asked if we shift a curve to the left, what happens to its reflection about the line y equals x? In view of this geometric principle, find an expression for the inverse of g of x is equal to f of x plus c, where f is a one-to-one -one function. To understand what is going on, we have to understand the differences between finding g of x and finding its inverse. So g of x, what we do, is to do it, we take our value x. First, we add c. Then we calculate f. For the inverse, we are doing the opposite. So not only are we subtracting c and calculating f inverse, we're doing it in the opposite order. So calculate f inverse, and then subtract c, right? So these swap places, and they become the opposites of themselves. Addition becomes subtraction, a function becomes its inverse. So g inverse of x, following our logic here, calculate f inverse, then subtract c. So what, does the, what happens to the reflection? Well, this is a transformation, just like we learned in the transformation section of this chapter. Subtracting c from the end of a function means we're moving it down c units. If you're moving a curve to the left c units, you have to move down the reflection. The inverse is down c units. In a similar way, find an expression for h of x equals f of cx's inverse. So in h, we take the value of x and we multiply c, multiply by c, and then we calculate f. So again, we have to swap it and make it its opposite. So we calculate f inverse, and then multiplying becomes dividing by c. So h inverse of x equals calculating the inverse and then dividing by c. Therefore, this is a, I know it doesn't ask for what it actually looks like, but we know this is a vertical shrink by a factor of c to the inverse, the reflection over the line y equals x. So that is the answer to this problem, and congratulations, you're down with chapter one.